Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jodie and I make university content, grad content and lifestyle content and for today's video, as you can already tell by the title, I am going to be talking about 10 things that I wish I knew before Freshers Week. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from your girl. And so let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so if my phone could unlock, also, my room is literally a sauna right now. I close my window because there's construction going on. I have to turn the fan on because, like, that's actually just very, very rude to keep it on. You lot will actually hate me if I do. So, now I'm here suffering, okay? If you see sweat dripping down my face, honestly, mind your business, all right? Just act like it's not there. All right, cool. Glad we got that out of the way. So... First on my list of things I wish I knew before Freshers Week. The first one is save your coin, save your money. I am still not the best with managing my money. I will hold my hands up and admit it. My bank knows I'm not a pro. But one thing I will say that I wish I'd known before Freshers Week is to budget how much I wanted to spend, to think about what my maximum was and to incorporate different elements of spending it's not just buying drinks and getting cabs it's also food after your nights out it's outfits whether you have themed nights or you're just wearing your own thing like that all costs money and so one thing i wish i'd thought about more was how much i really wanted to spend you don't want to blow all of your money in freshers week because uni gets better after that anyway and there's going to be so many more nights out so it's really not worth spending all your cash or your coin in first in the first week for the sake of freshers a week number two is do not tie yourself down to one set of people or one person in that first week honestly worst thing you can do for yourself is to meet someone on the first day and feel like they are the only person you can hang out with because you can end up feeling trapped pretty quickly and sometimes you create an expectation with that person that you have to do everything with them you are going to meet so many people not just in your first week but throughout uni so do not tie yourself to one person or to one group of people you don't just have to hang out with your flat you don't just have to hang out with the first person you met on your course you can branch out you can go for coffee one day with someone and go on a night out with some course friends instead of your flat one night you can change it up i really really recommend that you do if you keep your circle small you're not really giving yourself a good chance and giving yourself the opportunity if that makes sense okay and then number three is you don't have to go on every single night out sis i come to you as someone who thought they were tough enough i can tell you for free i was not tough enough it is exhausting okay freshers week is emotionally exhausting it's physically exhausting it's a lot to handle and it's a huge adjustment so don't feel like you have to go on every single night out if you just want to have a chill one with some people in your flat or some friends that you met on your course you can also do that and also i personally think that when you do that you actually make more meaningful friendships obviously the nights out are fun as well but definitely don't feel like the only way you're going to make friends and the only way you're going to have the best experience is if you go on every single night out sometimes you know what it's nice to be missed sometimes miss the night out and just hear about it don't feel like you're not going to have friends if you choose not to go out on the first night or choose not to go out on the third night whatever it is do what's best for you not every night out requires your presence i think we're on number four now are we on number four let's hope we're on number four my fourth thing that i wish i knew before freshers week is that missing home is actually very normal there's definitely a pressure to absolutely love your first week of uni and to be so happy with your new life and to be so happy to be away from the shackles of your parents or your guardians or whatever it is but you know what it's a very different but it's but it's actually okay but honestly it's actually okay if you do miss your parents, if you do miss your siblings, if you do miss your friends back home, or you just miss your old life. I kind of felt like I had this obligation to have the best time ever and to love this new situation and to love every single moment of Freshers Week. When in reality, I just didn't. I did miss home a lot and I did miss my old friends. I miss my old life. It was a huge transition and it's a huge change. Honestly, it is 
so normal and i guarantee you if you say it or speak to someone else about it whilst you're at uni in that first week a lot of other people will agree with you they just don't know whether it's normal or whether they should be feeling that way because people hype up freshers week so much that it's almost like something's wrong with you if you don't have like the best week of your life the number five is to be yourself i wish i'd been myself 100 percent and not held back as much i wish i'd been more confident in who i was at the time and just owned it because i feel like when you are yourself you attract more people who are like you owning your thing and going to what you want to go to and doing what you want to means that you get to meet other people along the way who are also like you so honestly be yourself and be unapologetically yourself so the next thing i would say is to join at least one society if you're able to juggle a lot of things and you've got loads of things in mind that you want to do then definitely go for it join more than that but if you're not sure if you want to join a society i would definitely recommend joining at least one honestly it will make your university experience a lot better and it will be nice to have like another branch of people you can meet it's a good avenue to go down if maybe you're not really feeling your flatmates or your course mates that kind of thing it's another avenue another way to meet people so then the next thing i wanted to talk about is making friends to have a friend you need to be a friend you can't just expect people to always come up to you and to always want to make conversation with you and to always put in the effort if you there's someone that you want to get to know better there's someone you want to hang out with then put it out there put yourself out there and ask them the worst that they can say is no and i i guarantee you they won't the reason is it's freshers week no one wants to be friendless everyone wants to make new friends people are not going to turn down your offer so this one kind of leads on from what i just said about friendships but it's all about boundaries as much as you want to make friends with people and you want to get to know people you also need to make your boundaries really clear and i think a big thing is having a conversation with yourself before you get to uni about what you will tolerate and what you won't tolerate you're entering a completely new space and people were raised differently some better than others just in my humble opinion and so for that reason i would definitely say that you need to make your boundaries clear with people what you will and won't accept within yourself set a standard that you want to uphold because people love to try it like people absolutely love to try it it's if you give people an inch darling they are going to run the full frontal marathon so definitely make sure that you've had a conversation with yourself about what you expect from other people and what you expect and how you expect other people to treat you the next thing i would say is freshers week might actually be a little bit anticlimactic and it may actually be a very awkward week and that is okay yeah i think people have this big perception of what they think freshers week is going to be like when they first arrive it might not live up to your expectations and that is completely okay i remember like initially after that first week talking to my friends who went to other universities they were like yeah freshers week wasn't that good a little bit awkward didn't really know what I was doing and honestly I feel like the more comfortable you get the better uni becomes. So then number 10 my final thing I wish I knew before freshers week is to be open to the week, to be open to the process and to be open to like what happens every single day. Like things change very very quickly it's a very fast-paced environment and so be open to that, be open to planning to go to dinner with one friend and going to dinner with that friend's three other friends as well and meeting new people going to a party and thinking that you're just going with your flatmates and meeting your new best friends or meeting your new boyfriend like be open to that and just relax and enjoy the process so that is going to be it from me i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button as well and yeah don't forget to follow me on my socials my instagram will be linked down below it's just jody underscore okide and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>